Welcome to the second episode of the Development Diaries for Layers of Fear 2. Let us talk today about audio design. Sound design in horror plays one of the most crucial roles in building the proper atmosphere. It sets the mood and builds up the tension even before any visual cues come into the picture. The most unique aspect of sound design in Layers of Fear 2 is the lo-fi aspect. Uh, we used a variety of software, but analog old gear as well, like the cassette recorder that I have here on my desk. So this is the one of the ways that we record with metal stingers in the game. Here's how it sounds like. An important part of every game is its musical score. We were looking for an effect that would highlight the classic horror vibe. The music for Layers of Fear 2 is very emotional, just like uh, in the first part. Main inspirations for the soundtrack come from old horror soundtracks. We use a lot of strings, that's why we really wanted to have the sound as real as possible. Working with George Strezov and Sofia Session Orchestra uh, was a real highlight because uh, having live performances brought another level of depth to the score. Layers of Fear 2 hosts a variety of characters. Each of them needs to be charismatic and unique. One of the most important roles is played by Tony Todd, Candyman himself. To be honest, working with uh, Tony Todd's voice uh, was quite easy because he's just a tremendous voice actor. But what I wanted to do is to make his voice huge, somewhat supernatural, while still pertaining his own characteristic of voice. Time marches on. His natural dry voice uh, sounds like this. An empty shell cannot live forever. And after adding all the effects that I use. An empty shell cannot live forever. Thank you for watching Layers of Your 2 Dev Diaries. See you soon in the next episode in which we'll talk about design in our game.